So today we are super excited. We're going to be installing seat covers on the Tacoma, but it's not on our Tacoma. It's gonna be on a friend's Tacoma. Cover Center sent us these wonderful seat covers that were gifted to us from them and we decided that we're going to gift them to one of our friends whose seats need a little bit of TLC. So let's unbox them and see what they look like and then let's get to the install. So inside the packaging, you're gonna get everything you need that is custom fit for your third gen Tacoma. So that's the back end and then you get five seat headrest covers as well as an armrest cover. So that's super exciting. That's gonna complete the look. And as you can see, here's the front seat covers. Isn't that carbon fiber detail? Super nice. And it looks like it's gonna be super breathable too, so it shouldn't get too sweaty in the summer. But aren't those amazing? They look so nice. And honestly, for custom seat covers, these are a really great deal, and especially the quality, they look amazing. Inside the box, you'll also find this handy dandy guide with a QR code for the instruction video. You also have a nice thank you note, some seat clips, love, and a tool to help you install the seat covers. I brought all of the seat covers out into the shop, and we are ready for this install. So why don't we take you to meet our friend's 2016 Toyota Tacoma. This is our friend's 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road in this brilliant Inferno Orange, I believe it's called. And honestly, this is one of my favorite colors besides Lunar Rock, so it is a sweet looking truck. And today, we're gonna be fixing it up with those seat covers, and it's a little dirty because he's got two kids. And as you know, when you have two kids, or kids in general, they can really wreck the interior vehicle. He's never had seat covers before. And so we thought that this would be a great Christmas present to put these seat covers on for him. So let's show you how to install the front seat. I've already done the driver's seat, so I'm a little bit educated on how to do this, but let's show you how to do the front seat and then we'll show you how to install the back seat because obviously that's where you want a lot of protection if you have kids. So the seat covers come with these clips. And from what I was reading online, these are the hardest part to install. So I am going to work on getting these onto the seat covers first um, before I try to wrestle in wallets in the Tacoma. I figured that that might be a little easier. So I'm gonna start with that. So installing these are the trickiest part from what I could find online. Until we actually install them, I'll, I'll reserve judgment. But from what you wanna do, you wanna take this like this, and then you're gonna want to put this on and then pull way more than you think you need and then you're gonna loop this back through, through here. So this metal piece goes through the loop you've created and then you're gonna pull it tight. And it feels awkward, but there you have it. The other way that you could potentially do this would be to pull this part apart, but that might snag a little bit. So if you can't do that, you can also do it that way. But the official way is that. So I put them on first because I don't like to work in the Tacoma space that's a little bit cramped if I don't have to. And this part is something that looks like it can be done beforehand because this just goes over the top of the back of the front seat, so. The first thing after you clean the seats, um, you're gonna want to undo the back. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. And it's super easy if you've never done it before. Underneath here, there are some tabs, which is kind of hard to see. So you kind of have to feel for them, which I know is hard to see on camera, but you'll, once you feel them, you just kind of push. And you, my friend, are royally... Home a trick for you. If you cannot get your hand underneath to get that seat part removed, <laughs> go from the front. Your hand will have just enough room to do it. I almost had to call in Everett to help. But now, this is nice and loose, and we got some vacuuming to do. But 
Now this is able to fold up like it's supposed to so we can get everything through. So that's step one. Step two, of course, remove the headrest because you will not get anything on without it. So the next part of this is you're gonna wanna take your top seat cover and this one, I just, we're gonna clean it up in a minute. You're gonna be able to tell if this is a passenger or driver by where the airbag sticker is. So your airbag sticker's here. This is the one for the passenger side. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna unzip it. So if we unzip it right here, that's gonna make this a little bit more flexible for when we stick it over the top. I think one thing to remember with all custom fit seat covers is they're gonna be a bear to put on. <laughs> they're not a picnic, but it's because they're custom fit. They're supposed to go on the seat really nice and snug. So I'm gonna move this seat forward to make it a little bit easier to pull. And you're just gonna have to work it. Use the muscles. See? And you gotta try to keep it centered. And of course, if you're looking for seat covers, make sure that if you do have airbags in your actual seat, you want to make sure that you get ones that are compatible with your seat. Otherwise your vehicle is not gonna function as, as it should in a crash. And you always wanna think of safety first before the look of a seat cover. But these ones are specifically designed for the Toyota Tacoma, so this isn't a problem. As you work the seat cover on, you have this little section here. And you're gonna to wanna to push these in to get underneath. It does take a little bit of finesse and stretching, but it's not terrible. But So if you stretch this side, for the hardest side to get to first, then this will come in nice and snug like that. And as we get the seat cover more adjusted, this will become more form fitting. And one thing with any of these seat covers is they will break in as they're used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the middle and I'm just gonna start tucking it underneath. And if you have long nails like I do, this part is kind of not fun. So break a nail or two, it's fine. you fill it both through, you move to the next one. You want these to be, so you can feel them kind of going all the way through. Come on. Grunting's okay too. Grunt, 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 grunt. Okay. We got them. Now the next step, is to pull that kind of tight. So that you can do from the back side of the seat. So I'm gonna move the seat forward and move back there. So as you can see, we're at the back side of the seat cover. So you're gonna want to lift these up and you should be able to see those pieces we pushed through. So the next step is gonna be putting on the bottom piece of the seat cover. Here's what the bottom of the seat cover looks like. And you can tell which side it goes up because this will match with the the cutout of the seat on the side. So it's pretty obvious if you have it wrong because it will not fit. So we have these bars, uh, well these hooks that are gonna tighten the seat cover and then we have these to secure it. So this has changed since their install video. So there used to be three of these, but now there's only two. Now we're gonna install the bottom piece of the seat cover. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unhook those. So now I have these unhooked. I'm going to turn this over and I'm gonna start fitting this on to the seat. These are gonna get pushed through that same section that the other ones were pushed through. So it's gonna get a little tight. So, but you wanna make sure you get this nice and centered because it's hard to adjust afterwards. So we're gonna push this here. Get our seat belt adjusted. Kind of get this front part adjusted right in this section here. You wanna make sure that seat belt lines up because once it's even, it's super easy to push in. And on this side here, if this cutout is wrong, you'll know it. You'll have the wrong side and it'll be very clear that it is not cut for that. So we got our front fitted. We're gonna pull down on it. And then we're gonna grab this, use some strength, and now we're gonna start pushing it through. 
And of course, grunting, I think is required. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's just some focus and feeling with your hands. But grunting's okay too. <laughs> that is now pushed underneath. So now we have these other pieces here, which we're gonna shove under the seat so that we can hook them. But you want to, if you have the manual bars, not the, not the automatic seats, you're gonna want to make sure this is not pushing on your bar. So make sure to push these underneath the correct way. Next part, you actually get this tool in the kit. This tool here is for pushing the seat cover into the plastic part of the Tacoma. And this is gonna help secure that bottom seat piece. It's kind of different than the Lucky Man, which had those two brackets that would hold and then had the front tie. It was, the Lucky Man's were a little more complicated than these. So let me show you this. This is actually pretty slick. Start pushing this into the plastic. So you're gonna pull your plastic out just a little bit. I know it's scary. Let's see, this is gonna help create that nice, tight, custom looking seat cover. Put these, we're gonna put these underneath the seat, get them pushed where they go. So now that I got that front part tucked in, I'm gonna start working on the back side to secure the seat the rest of the way. So I'm gonna give these a one last final tug. And they seem pretty snug. So the next thing I'm gonna do is work on connecting these pieces. I'm gonna find my piece, which is down here somewhere. Down here, I swear it is. There it is. So once you grab it, don't let it go. So you're gonna grab it and buckle it in, and then you're gonna tighten it. Tighten it. Okay, that part's tightened. Now we gotta do the next one. So this string piece, you're gonna tie to that other string that you have. So I'm gonna put them through here through my buckle. Just kind of tie them. These I already put on. If you need to go back in the video, you can see that. So I'm going to tuck this underneath and find a spot to clip this. Each, If you have automatic seats um, with the powered seats, you're gonna wanna be careful where you hook these. These are all both manual seats, so they're gonna be a little bit easier. And there's the passenger side, so next we'll do a headrest piece we're going to install is one of the headrests. This is pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Like, you've got your pieces, things tuck in. You have to, you do have to give it a little bit of oomph. So you want to think about how your headrest goes in. So this is the front of the headrest. So I'm going to look at this and go, this is my front. This is clearly the back. Important note, the fronts and the back are different sizes. <laughs> That's why the other one didn't fit. So I found the front. So in case you're wondering, the fronts are just a tiny bit bigger. So once you get to this point, you just kind of Velcro it together. You'll see like the little holes here. You just pull that tight, like right like that. And then you're gonna Velcro it. And it's, they're super easy when you have the right size. Now we're gonna do the back seat of the Tacoma. This truck needs a little love and this will make it look so much better. So we're gonna start installing the back seat cover. And so this should be pretty, pretty easy. It looks like it's pretty standard, but I said that about the front, so we'll find out. Now we have this nice section. So we're going to take this top piece and we are going to wrestle it on to how it's supposed to go. So I messed up. You gotta get the seat belt through here first. So don't do that. <laughs> Have to wrestle this into shape. This feature on these seat covers is super cool because on your regular Tacoma seats, you do have this section. And what most people don't know is it's actually for shoving in your seat belt. So when you pull up 
to access this underneath storage, the seat belts don't get lost. So this seat cover actually incorporated those. So honestly, that is a super cool feature. It also incorporated where you can use your pull tab. So that's super, super sweet. Okay, so now we gotta do the zipper. Oh, look at this. Once you get that up, apparently, you can get that from here. Ha ha ha. Don't let it defeat you. It is fine. Oh my god. So the zipper is here. One minute, 37 seconds later. got the zipper. It only took like five minutes. So you don't have, this shouldn't actually be too bad. It's just, it's got some room for the pull tab right here. So that's the important part. And so honestly, see how this goes. I'm gonna crawl in here like the short person I am. I'm gonna try to fit this across, which I know is hard to see. It actually fits pretty snug, surprisingly. Some of the reviews online said it didn't fit very snug, but honestly, it has exceeded my expectations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and tie it. It's real snug. But I think that looks pretty good. I have finished installing the seat covers on our friend's 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Why don't we show you and take a look and show you the befores and afters. Cover installed, the cover center seat covers are officially done. And honestly, that is one of the cheapest mods that you can do to any pickup to make it look brand new. Truck finally looks like it did off the showroom floor. And now it's gonna have the protection that it deserves. These are honestly pretty nice. I think the fronts were definitely harder to install than the back seat covers. The back seat covers didn't take me barely any time at all. The fronts are a little bit more complicated just because you do need to pull them tight. There's a lot more intricate pieces working in there. But tell us what you think down below. Do you think the Tacoma now looks better with the brand new seat covers? Let us know what you think and we hope to see you next time. Bye for now.